I make myself a snack. But there's no time! Un I don't think I'm reaching new people. I think my YouTube channel is kind of like, it's not really pulling its weight. Usually in my best times on Twitch or when I'm, my YouTube channel is getting a lot of attention. You get a lot of new subs from that, the new viewers. But it seems like it, it's just kind of stable right now. The same people who have been watching are watching, so it's, it's not really growing, it's not really shrinking. I'm gonna use my YouTube channel more often now. Probably make more videos, spend more time editing them. During the day, I'll probably just work on YouTube instead of streaming all day. Might be a higher payout. I'm using YouTube to bring people here, not really to... I mean, if I have like 50,000 YouTube subs someday, that's going to translate to my stream for sure. It's going to help a lot. Class has already started. I had three classes today. And it's a pain in the ass because I have an hour and a half between them. Like, if I... It's ridiculous. If I had all my classes straight in a row, I'd get out fucking four and a half hours earlier each day. It's insane. I have so much downtime. It's, it's so... It's fucking dumb. I just sit in school and do nothing. It's 9 to 5 when it, it really doesn't have to be at all. Hey kid. You're I'm probably going to use that time just to edit stuff. Go on my YouTube channel and make videos. If I don't have work, I use some of that time to finish some of my coursework today. I'm gonna carry an Xbox and an extra monitor to school every day. And set up in the school cafeteria or whatever the fuck. The dining hall, the library, you name it. Down. suck. A Switch remake and everybody had to fucking buy a Switch to run the game. We probably just switch um, 
Well, if it, if it were like a port, we have to make separate leaderboards for it, maybe. If the loads are faster than you. Great Barrier Reef! Yo, Ghosty, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub, man. Welcome back to the sub squad. The sub, the, the sub, the group of subs. Thanks for resubscribing, man. Appreciate that very much. Hopefully I don't make any dumb mistakes. When am I going to run TSSM? Yeah, there are golden dabs for uh, for tier two subs and higher. It's a pretty lit emote. Let's get some golden dabs. Who has it? I know a bunch of people have it. I already did BFBB PC as a joke Good. a while back. If I ran TSSM, I'd probably kill myself before I got a 133. Because I don't want to play that game. I have nothing to prove, dude. I have a 57 in battle for Bikini Bottom. I don't see why people want me to play TSSM to prove something that I don't have to prove. Told why, Morty. Hey, kid. <laughs> Me neither. I mean, you run the game, Jared, so you can talk shit. I talk shit because I don't care. If I sound like an ass for making fun of it. The 20 second bosses. God. My no cheese loads. Gotta save a couple of seconds on my loads and no cheese. Man, yeah, I can lose up to like a second on Jellyfish Fields loads. I usually do. The only way to get a 220 in Jellyfish Fields is if you get good loading screens. Otherwise, you get like a really low 221. With the current strats, at least. 
Well, to be fair, this game has a lot of exploits, but it isn't buggy. If someone's gonna say that this game is buggy, like, yeah, it has a lot of exploits, and it's poorly made, but it's it's poorly made in the sense that it has a lot of skips and stuff. It's not like TSSM where it crashes and shit, and stuff actually does not work. Yeah, it has a consistent hard lock on Xbox. Like, it happens literally every time. No, no, I know. Um, I was agreeing with you, Jared. I said to anybody who's going to argue back... Maybe I didn't make it clear enough that I was saying. Anybody who's going to argue it back against Jared's point. And say that this game's also buggy. I'm saying anybody who's about to say that is wrong. Because that wasn't what Jared meant by saying buggy. He means like the game's actually broken. Revenge of the Flying Dutchman barely deserves to be evaluated as an actual game. Because it really is hardly an actual game. Now look, a good run. I mean, all my time saves in early games, so it's, you know. Don't get too excited. Hey, kid. It's a good run. Solid. Good for you. 
Just keep in mind, like, there probably will be a point in this game where I have, like, 10 seconds left to save. And literally any frame perfect jump will kill the run instantly. So that is something to consider. Good thing we aren't there yet. This game's just gonna get a lot harder when I have a sub 5730 or a sub 5720. What's up, JBH? Thank you, man. Hey, kid. Four thirty-three Gilligan. It's actually really good. Well, I mean, I can miss Fast Nut three times and still get a 58. Looks like the robot's left itself vulnerable. Great barrier reef. So it's not really a matter of. I mean, all others, as in, like, everything now. Like, yeah. All the runs right now. Yeah, I'd the say, yeah. But it's gonna require, like, bad. insane consistency. Like, playing, playing like a robot every run to get a 56. Unless it just happens randomly. Unless it just fucking happens out of nowhere. Sling! The old clothesline move! Hey, kid. The robot's losing its head. What a shocking takedown by Patrick. Like if it just randomly fucking happens like on this run. It's it's possible, but it's probably not gonna happen. It's theoretically possible. I'm just not like Like I've never been on 56 pace after Industrial Park before. So, you know, like, after everything gets harder, it's very unlikely that I'd, that I'd actually pull through and do everything perfectly. My best Google Goom is probably a little bit faster than that. It's one of the best though. For sure it's one of the best. Nice move by SpongeBob. This match is just about over. That was so close to a 1955, holy shit. Anyway, that's the best Poseidon split I've ever had.
by like a half a second, I think. It's been like more than two months since I've gotten anything that good. Lois, I'm running movie. I'm running movie, Lois. Wow, nice lag. Whew, alright. This is very fast. Probably be like minus 25. All right, well, it was it was probably faster than that actually. I split late on it. Yeah, it's a sub-22 bikini bottom split. This run's been almost perfect so far. I knew it. I knew it. What a surprise, guys. Just like I said, you can't fucking be on a pace that good and play your best. Stop crying about it. Literally perfect until that. Except for that one ledge grab, it was, it was pretty much perfect. This run's probably not gonna PB. There's a pretty low chance it does. I needed more time saving that. I'll probably be even going into Industrial Park and whatever happens in there. You're pretty much relying on Industrial Park time to save the PB, so don't get your hopes up. That's it! Hey, now issue the coup de grace! Triple D, thank you for the Shift six months, man. Drive. Thank you, welcome back. The man. Yeah, I mean, 
That that was a god run. I haven't had a run like that in months. God runs don't happen often in this game. For the strats that I'm doing at least. I mean, just think of it this way. This That run had potential to 56. It was like minus 5 yep. on 56 pace. Assuming, like, um... Assuming... I get, like, 10 seconds saved on Industrial Park, and then I get 5 seconds in Dutchman's Graveyard. Nah, it was, it was right on. I did... It was 56 pace without... Quick slick is the re is why it was so good. I didn't have to do quick slick and it still could have gotten a 56. But yeah, that's what that looks like. It's a it's a fun game. Pretty much, I if I'm minus 20 on these splits, if I'm minus 20 going into oil skip, I have to do quick slick to be able to be on 56 pace. But that run was so good. I didn't even have to do it, and I still could have been on pace. That's the reason why I didn't do quick slick, because I was still on 50. I was still on 56 pace if I didn't do it. If I actually did it, I would have been on sub 56, 55 pace, which is fucking crazy. Well, it's possible. I'm just really low on shiny objects. That's how the game gets you. If you have an insane pace, you're usually very low. So maybe quick slick was necessary, because I'm going to lose time in Sand Mountain. That is 100% certain. Yeah, you guys gotta understand that, like, see, Jared, Jared understands. He'll probably explain it to you, but, like, a 50, a high 59 is very far away from a mid one flat. This, this game has a lot of levels to it. It gets really hard to improve your time once you get around Jared's level. That's, like, where I started having problems. That's where I started getting, like, tiny little PBs and choking runs. Anyway, I just got another 437 Gulagoon. This run minus oil skip is fucking insane. Did I say Gulagoon? I think I I, I wanted I wanted to say Mermelair, but I feel like I said Gulagoon. Yeah, I just got another 437 Mermelair. Anyway, we're gonna lose a lot of time on this. Yeah, I think I did say Gulagoon. 